I'm Corey. And I'm Timmy. I moved out to California from the East Coast. I came to LA from Hawaii. The goal was to be a star. So I ended up in Hollywood. For 15 years, I warmed up crowds on American Idol, dancing with the stars, and even spent the last decade touring the world as a DJ. I started as a dancer and performed for artists like Aaliyah, Missy Elliott, and Will Smith. I then authored three books and became a pastor. But through it all, something was missing. I felt this desire to be a part of something real. A movement that would change communities. To tell stories of strength built on people's passions, driven by their courage and giving the world hope. So we've come together to celebrate unsung heroes from around the world. This is The Rise Effect. And this is the Rise Effect live. live. We live, baby. This is live TV, live YouTube, whatever it takes. We here live. My man Timmy stuck in yes. traffic. Yes. Come on. It's a beautiful day. You know what? It's finally sunny out, so everybody's out. They're like, you know what? The sun is out in California. Right. Let's get out and enjoy it. So everybody is out in the sunshine enjoying themselves. Yep. So welcome to TRE Live. Yeah. How are you here. feeling? I'm feeling great. Yeah, you ready? Um, yeah, it's, it's t-shirt weather in California. And, and I'm feeling good, so it's I can now time. wear my Be The Rise shirt every right single here. day. Right here. We're always pushing. <laughs> hey, listen. We're always pushing the merch. I, I don't know why we would. It only helps us with production, but... I mean, listen. If you want to tell stories, you know, small stories, big impact. That's right. All Cheers. you got to do is, you know what I mean? Cheers. Grab a t-shirt, grab a mug, whatever you got to do, honestly. <laughs> I will say... <laughs> <laughs> yes. And we're over. Okay. Um, is I was ready to brew up some chai because I know my boy likes a little chai. I do. But <clears throat> instead, I'm gonna die right here, real quick, <laughs> real quick. But um, but no. So we didn't get here in time. But you got. We, yeah. We're here with the merch. We're here on live. It's all. I got her exactly at five o'clock. Woo! Wow. Yeah. That's what live TV is all about. That's right. That's what we love. That's what we love. Uh, Susan is in the chat. Susan, how are you? Thanks for tuning in. One of our greatest supporters. Yes, we love Susan. And so, um, again, just to recap, this is what we do the last Tuesday of every month. Yeah. We like to get together and just have a conversation. We talk a little bit about what, you know, what we shared this month, the story or stories that we got to share. Right. Maybe tease what's coming, you know, next month. Maybe. But, you know, you don't know. You don't know. But anyway, um, we love to share that. And if anyone who's out there watching, had any comments about any of the episodes that they saw yeah. this month or even, you know, past months, feel free to chime in on the yeah. chat. I got a chat up here right now. I have a lot of, of Susan's in the house. I have ahead. a lot of comments about last, uh, this month's uh, episodes. I have a lot of comments. It has been so, an <laughs> insane incredible. month. Let me tell you. So, so let's tell them first of all, what the theme of the month was, because every month we drop a theme on you yeah. and kind of let you know what's going down. So the theme of March was rise against the odds. Against the odds, which I feel like a lot of people in the world right now probably feel like the that odds are stacked against them. But yeah. then when they hear the story, like we got to yeah. share with Aaron and Sherelle, yeah. man, it's like you can't complain anymore. <laughs> right. It, it was important for us to tell that story and for them to share, just because I believe that we we face those kind of challenges where we feel like we we do have our back against the wall and. Mm. And the odds do feel like they're stacked against us. And that's that there's so many scenarios on a regular basis where we feel overwhelmed by certain situations. And for them to show their or talk about their journey from the beginning to the end and how they rose mm -hmm. when, when it, I mean, let's face it, she was supposed to not I mean, be able to live I, and I, function at the level that she is. Yeah. But I think I we mean, counted like, what, three times? She yeah. should have been like, she yeah. was, they were like ready to write her off as dead, yeah. like three times. Yeah. So talk about, you know, here we are in Lent, getting ready for the resurrection. And she was out three times and yeah. she just kept fighting. She's such a fighter. Yeah. Um, and what's, what's even more impressive was the fighting that Aaron did on the outside. Oh, wow. yeah. Because I think that's what's, I think that's, you know, you, you look at someone's fight for survival and what Sherelle had to do to stay alive. Yeah. But what sometimes is lost is the fight that goes on outside the room, outside the walls, outside yeah. of your life. People yeah. are fighting for you, weighing in for you on your life. And man, Aaron was at, yeah. he was going, he was like, a, he was a warrior, man. Yeah. The but been having real moments at the same time. Yeah. Sharing his brokenness when he, when he just crumbled and cried 
uh, when he got the news that she wasn't breathing, right? Mm -hmm. Like the, the, the mucus was forming. And, yeah, yeah. Uh, I, I don't know. We're, we're giving away too many for people, too many little hints. If you don't know about the mucus it, plug, you better check yeah, out Hook that's Part what I'm if you, yeah. if you didn't watch it, you know, there, there's there's a yeah. lot of uh, spoilers that is going to be <laughs> yeah. spoken about. Right. But you can still watch it, even though you're going to hear little bits and pieces of, of some moments that took place in the interview and in the story. Um, it's still worth the watch because the, the, the heart and the emotion of what is shared by these two individuals mm -hmm. was incredible. Yeah, man. So much stuff, and and you hear about just how many like how many God winks. You know, we call them God winks. That's what Tara and I call them when when God kind of like shines down on you and gives yeah. you a little like. How yeah. many of those happened throughout the course yeah. of her time in the hospital? Right. You know, from just the you know the chaplain to her sister yeah. to the nurses. Yeah. I mean, just it went on and on and on. It was unreal. All of them is a divine setup. Ari and I call them nudges. You guys call it wings. Nudges. Wings, nudges. Yeah, yeah. You know, we all feel them. <laughs> One way or the other. But we know it's 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 he that's orchestrating things that sets him up to survive at that level. And that sheer faith and will that causes them to rise because they believe that his strength can empower them to get through the moment. Yeah. Is, um, you know, a testament in itself. But but their story is incredible. And, yes. and it's a love story. You right. and I as husbands watching Aaron and the thing that he did on, did on a regular basis. Uh, to support his wife, yeah, um, was 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 enough to. It, it's enough to tune in just to yeah. learn that lesson alone. Right, was extraordinary. But the whole thing was uh, phenomenal, and yeah, it was such an honor. To have. What was your biggest takeaway watching? You know, being a part of that story because I know yeah. that we, you know, we also had him at church. You, you spoke with him at church, and yeah, they you heard their testimony well. a couple times. And I know for this one, we had to do an abbreviated version because we were trying to get everything in. Um, you know, within yeah. our time frame, and of course, it ended up stretching to two episodes, a part yeah. one and a part two, because we didn't want to truncate it that much. What was like? What do you? What was your biggest takeaway? Like after that, you know, sitting down with them and, and kind of going through their story again, hearing it again. I think there's so many, but the one that just stood out when you asked that question was really um, Sherelle's sister. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, when she said, "God can use four percent." Because in the medical field, someone that has 4% lung capacity, um, it's just over for them. Yeah. It really is. Once they, they go under under uh, a, a self, uh, under the coma, yeah. you know, really what we, we, people we spoke to over the years have said that should have been the end for her. Mm -hmm. And for that... Being in that situation, being in a coma, and knowing that she only had 4% usage of her lungs. Yeah. Um, most people would say, well, you know what? We gave it a try. We gave it a shot. Um, we, we stood in faith, but it just seems like the right thing to do is just, uh, you know, yeah, allow her to pass uh, peacefully. Mm. And that's what, what all the experts were saying. So for me, when his her sister stood up and said those those words, yeah. I think was one of the most powerful statements that moved me. I'm talking about something... Because you're thinking one of the main things that was my takeaway that yeah. that moved me tremendously since I've heard her share that. Yeah. You know, in the last three months since I've heard that part of the story, I think it's just kind of changed my perspective on so many things. Where I'm like, you know, because because that's that's the whole essence of rise against the odds. The right. odds are you have four yeah. percent usage of your lungs, and therefore it, it's it's kind of like a dead issue. Yeah. In a sense. It was bleak. So. It was super bleak. Yeah, I I love that. Um, yeah, the four percent line was really yeah. was really special. Um, you know, and to me, I think like what stood out to me is that you know we went into this trying to tell a life story, yeah. right? We wanted to tell a life story of how someone fought for their life, but it ended up we told a love story. Yeah, you know what I mean. And and I love on so many levels, not just like between husband and wife, but between family, yeah. in-laws, friends, community. Yeah. Um, I mean, you talk about the nurses and the frontline workers. I mean, yeah. Aaron had, had talked about, you know, watching this woman when he was kind of, you know, just coming to and, and yeah. watching the nurses work that she had to change out of everything, yeah. like mask, visor, gloves, everything, and did it like 15 times an hour because the second she would get, you know, out of her scrubs, they would be like, another call would come through. Yeah. She'd have to get dressed again and they, they didn't even think about it they didn't even bat an eyelash yeah. like these frontline workers y'all like i know 
people and talk I don't think about we him. edited that scene. I don't even know if that was in the, yeah, episode, the, final, yeah. the final version. But, like, I think that's the thing. Like, these frontline workers, it's not just, like, lip service to be like, oh, shout out to the frontline workers. I mean, they they risked bringing this home to, to, to yeah. their family yeah. to, to try and get through. So, to me, it was like going from telling a life story to telling a love story. Yeah. And then what Sherelle said at the end, which, like... You know, uh, which is how we kind of ended the episode. Normally, we would end the episode with, yeah. with us kind of yeah. sharing a little bit. But she was so powerful. And I think her biggest, which we're probably going to end up, you know, making a T-shirt. But she said, don't give up, get up. You yeah. know, and I think that was like such a big, it's like, she's like, just don't give up, get up. Yeah. And I think that's an important, you know, word for people out there who are kind of ready to throw in the towel. You know what I mean? Yeah. And it's like, whatever you could do to get up and fight then do it because like you said she was at four percent yeah. and now she's dancing she's i mean she was yeah full of energy full of love and joy um you know it's still technically not even out of the woods a couple of years later yeah she's still battling yeah but man yeah. she's she's a trooper and it's it's amazing their story and, and the conviction when she said when she said those words behind it because when mm -hmm. we said cut and i'm all and I just walked around the room like, girl, did you know what you just said? And she's like, what did I say? What did I say? It wasn't <laughs> right. rehearsed. Right. It, it wasn't a statement that she she carries a, a, around with her. It was just in the moment, these were the words that she was using to inspire the people that were watching. And it it, it is a t-shirt. It is a, right. you know, a saying, a quote that should be carried through because it's it was just amazing where it came from. Yeah. The depths of her heart and yeah. depths from, of a warrior that fought and rose it against the odds. Yeah. And that's where it came from. So it, it, they're, they're two special individuals. I've known them for a while, um, even before this incident. So we've been, we've been close throughout the years and to just be able to share their story was, was such an honor for both of us. Yeah. Yeah. It truly was inspiring. If you haven't had a chance to check it out, it is the, uh, the, the latest two episodes yeah. prior to this live that are up on the Rise Effect YouTube channel. So make sure yeah, you watch. check it out. If you've already seen it, watch it again. Why not? Give us more watches. We like share that. Share with somebody. Good, but yes, share with someone. That's super yeah. important. That is really important because, you know, our these stories that we're dying to tell, that we're dying to get out there, can only go so far. So, yeah. you know, now it's great when folks out there pick up the baton and they're like, you know what, I'm going to pass this along to this person and that yeah. person. And, um... You know, and I was just looking at the comments here on YouTube and Sue's talking about, you know, what God can do with 4%. And it is remarkable yeah. what God does um, with, you know, the smallest amount, how he can multiply oh, yeah. it. And so yeah. even he just but a seed on a regular basis right. is, is a tremendous miracle and an extension of what their message was in their interview. And talking about planting that seed, sending this to somebody who you think is fighting right now. Yeah. You know what I mean? It doesn't necessarily have to be COVID or or a sickness could be fighting yeah. to stay in the job that they're in, in the relationship that they're in, you know, fighting for, yeah. you know, their own life against the odds. So yeah. pass it because it's great. We're trying to create this community and that's why we get together, you know, every month to yeah. do a live and we just want to build this community. Obviously, if there are people out there who want to reach out, you could do so. The rise effect TV. Yeah. We love stories. So if you're out there and you know somebody who's doing something incredible and impactful out there in the community, there is a, a nomination tab yep. on the website. You nominate somebody. If you've got a story, if you know somebody out there who has a story, then get out there and nominate that person because we want to tell these great stories. Yeah, absolutely. I, I think the world is in great need of hope. And um, I think the Rise Effect offers that. And so that's why we we uh, encourage you guys to share these stories, share these episodes with others. Because trust me, it, it, it's it's going to help them in, in a way more than you know. Uh, a lot of people watch YouTube and scan through stories and, and content on yeah. their own all the time. It's, 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 it's a constant thing that we do in this generation. And I think uh, giving them a Rise Effect episode surely will change their life and yeah. redirect their steps and give them something that some other episodes that uh, are released that are kind of, you know, stirring up fear and anger and yeah. uh, uh, negativity. I, I think we wanted to combat that yeah. um, and, and provide something positive and enlightening and encouraging and so um i believe we're doing that i think that's the new trend your stories positivity is the new trend that's so let's jump on that one but um i think we'll end it with that i listen these stories continue to get deeper and more emotional and yeah. what's going to happen in april 
is going to be incredible. Yeah. Um, man, super touching episodes that we're going to air in April. Super excited about it. Next Tuesday at 5 p.m., we will uh, announce what the theme of the month is, what yeah. our theme for April is, and then we've got a couple just, like, I mean, truly yeah. killer episodes yeah. that you're not going to want yeah. to miss. So hit the bell, subscribe, make sure you know when we are going live, make sure you know when we are posting a new episode, but every Tuesday at 5 Pacific, 8 Eastern, new episodes go up. TheRiseEffect.tv if you want to nominate somebody, yeah. Instagram, the Rise Effect. Uh, you know, hop on there, spread the word, get these out to people so that they can see them. And we're just going to continue to jump on this positivity. That's right. All right. Awesome. Big finger. <laughs> <laughs>